Shopify Refresh Theme Customization Guide. Now, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed to successfully customize one of the most powerful Shopify themes out there, which would be the Refresh Theme right here. Now, to get started, you will have to actually head to this page and you will have to click on Try Theme right here to actually install the Refresh Theme onto your Shopify store. Now, once this is going to be done, this is usually going to take a couple of seconds, you can then just select the Refresh Theme and click Click on customize. This is going to open up the Shopify theme editor, which can be a little bit complicating when getting started, but no worries, we're going to explain everything in detail. So to get started, you can actually select certain kind of elements of your website. And when selecting these, you're going to have all of the different settings right here on the right. Now, with that being said, right here on the top, you are going to have a general navigation bar where you can actually navigate to other uh, sides of your store essentially and you can then further customize these right here now if you're going to then right here select for example this product information tab you can then see all of the settings right here on the right and you can customize this now right here on top you can actually change the view of this whole site so uh, it is actually super important to also customize your store for mobile now usually shopify does a pretty good job with this however to be safe i would always recommend you to double check this because nowadays basically the majority of your customers are going to be on mobile so let's actually get started uh, customizing this from top to bottom. Let's actually get started with the announcement bar right here. Now the announcement bar actually is a great way to display all sorts of different I guess just incentivizes or all sorts of different discounts that you are currently offering. So for example, let me actually just select this right here. So for example, we could then put in something like minus 20% off all i don't know trousers okay i'm just making things up right now and then we can actually also make this clickable by adding a link onto this so basically in this case i would then just select my uh, trousers so i guess my bottom selection right here uh, buttons collection and then i'm going to click on save and now whenever someone is going to click on this right here they're then going to be redirected to my bottoms collection with all of my trousers inside it okay let's now head back to the home page um, now let's actually continue with this header right here. Uh, basically, as you can see, um, the logo, which would be my store, isn't updated yet. And to actually customize this to your likings, you will have to head over to theme settings right here on the left and then to logo. Now, the theme settings kind of work as the general settings for all across your website. So right here you can uh, set stuff like logo colors typography and you can basically customize this and this is then automatically going to be updated so in this case i'm then just going to quickly upload my logo once this got added we can actually go ahead and customize this by changing the desktop logo width so basically just the size of this we can either make this bigger or we can also make it smaller i will just leave it at 130 40 pixel and then we will also have to add the favicon now the favicon basically just is uh, the little icon that is going to be on top of all of your pages and i would actually recommend you to just add this uh, because it is going to seem a little bit more professional um, so i'm just going to upload this k logo right here which is then going to be my favicon now we can actually further customize our theme by setting stuff like colors now i think usually shopify does a pretty good job with this by default however you can actually also customize this and you can add new schemes onto your theme now with that being said you can actually use tools like coolers.co let me actually open this up um, and you can basically use this to get an idea on what kind of colors you could actually use for your store and um, i guess i would just leave you the link for this down below it's not paid or anything it is just, it is just a super useful tool essentially so let's actually now continue with this um, we can actually also set the typography, the typography so basically the font of our website we can change this right here we can also upload custom fonts and we can actually just also change the heading font if we do want to the body font and so on but i will just close this for now you are going to have a lot of other different settings right here but most of them you aren't really going to use either way by the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. 
So let's now continue and let's now head back to the sections right here. And let's now continue customizing our header. Now, by default, you can actually set the desktop logo position to all sorts of different positions, essentially. So in my case, I usually tend to actually uh, leave it at middle center or at middle left. However, you can actually play around with this and you can actually set this however you want. Uh, however, I'm just going to leave it at, I guess, middle left right here because I think this usually tends to work the best. And then we can also go ahead and customize our navigation bar right here. And to actually customize this, you will just have to click on this icon. And this is going to then redirect us to the main menu where we can then add new menu items. So I'm just going to put in test and I'm going to link this to, I don't know, the search page right here. I'm going to quickly add this. And if we're now going to save this right here, <coughs> This should actually get added. And as you can see, now this is going to redirect us to the search page. Perfect. So you can actually further go uh, further customize your header. You can change the desktop menu type. So basically you can change in between all of these different things, like for example, the drawer and so on. And you can also select if you do want to have sticky header enabled, or if you do want to always show your header when someone is going to be on the site. In my case, I will actually select all on scroll up right here. And as for the rest, I'm just going to leave this at the default for now. So let's now actually further customize our theme by actually going ahead and changing this thing right here. Now, basically right here, I would recommend you to add some kind of branded image of your product. In my case, as I don't really have that, as I'm just building up an example store, I will just click on explore free images and I will then just put in something like clothing um, just to get, get a better picture for this. Okay, maybe something like, maybe something like this. Okay, this is a little bit too big. So let's actually just stick with this one right here. And then we can... <coughs> And then we go, and then we, and then we can further go, and then we can go ahead and customize this right here. So to do that, just head over to heading right here, and now we can actually change this. I will just put in shop or newest products, and then we can set the heading size. And then we can set the heading size. We can add the subheading if we do want to. And we can also basically style our button. We can put in another button label if we do want to. Or we can actually also change the button link. In this case, I'm just going to leave this at all products. And we can also use the outline style, uh, which sometimes tends to actually look pretty good. In this case, I would probably just leave it at the plain uh, blue one right here. And then we can actually go ahead and save this for now. Now the next section on our site would be this featured product section right here. However, if you do want to actually delete any of your sections, you will just have to select the, the section and you will then have to click on either remove right here or you can also just click on the bin right here, which is then going to remove your section. Now on the other hand, if you do want to add new sections onto your homepage, you will just have to click on this plus sign right here, or you will have to click on add section right here on the left, which is then going to give you tons of different default te templates basically, which you can use. This is going to involve stuff like multi-column sections, which actually work great for stuff like reviews or multi-rows, collapsible content. This could be used for, for example, a FAQ, or you can actually use this to display some unique selling points of your product. And you can also actually add an email sign up right here, which is then going to be useful to do some email marketing later on. I will actually delete this for now. And um, now you are basically going to have full freedom with this. In my case, I would then probably just add a featured collection right here. Or I'm just going to add my collection list rather. And then I'm going to select the different kind of selections, uh, collections that I have listed on my store. And then once we have done this, we can actually then go ahead. Maybe we are going to add a new section to the template right here. We're then going to add the multi-column section where we can then actually select a product right here. Maybe this relaxed fit t-shirt. We can then further go ahead and also add uh, basically a collection onto this and so on. Now, that's basically it for the template part right here. However, if you also do want to customize your footer right here, you can do so by simply just navigating to footer right here on the left. And you can then go ahead. First of all, if you don't want to delete this email sign up, you can do so. 
However, if you want to, you can then actually also add this back right here and you can even further customize the footer by, for example, adding a menu where they're then going to have different kind of uh, menu items essentially. This is going to be the same setup as beforehand with the main menu. Then we can actually also add some other elements like the brand information, like for example, just a text or, or, or an image. And basically this is how it is going to go. Now, if you do want to actually customize your product page, you can do so by just selecting selecting that right here and you can then go ahead and add some new sections onto this. For example, some collapsible content could actually work pretty good where you're then going to display different kind of use cases of your product. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.